Cheers. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. It's a fantastic poser. Well, it's quite free, so I've been to have it, yeah. You're gonna get this done, ain't you? You are. You get it done in. Beat that out, yeah? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to Shush, Shush. You're ruining it, you're ruining it, you're ruining it. I'm ruining it. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. And you join myself and Elle here in Notting Hill, where we've been here for the day. We are here for the market, of course, here in Portobello Road, which is where we are right now. You know, we're going to check out the uh, the stalls that are on offer, the antique shops, and also the vintage clothing shops too. And then what else? Let's probably just hit up a few pubs and yeah. and whatever because more well, hang on, because why not? Yes. <laughs> The best boozers in London. Oh, is that where we went the Earl of Lonsdale. Yeah, that's where we went last time. We had a beer yeah. selfie, our first, first beer one. Selfie. That pub, if you went to university with me, you'll know exactly why it's a decent boozer. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> that's good. Starting off on the old neck oil. L's on the Camden L's Lager. Yeah. Standard. <laughs> Choose me first, manners. God. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, not a good start, L. Not a good start. <laughs> How many? Oh, we're like two minutes in. It's all right. Lots of time. Plenty of time. Uh, long way to go. Yeah. So we are here at the Duke of Wellington pub in the heart of Portobello Road in Notting Hill. We are now currently sipping a few pints whilst watching Iron versus Wales in the Six Nations. Oh. <laughs> and Wales have not got, not got off to a good start. No, and Luke's watching West Ham. Um, <laughs> oh, did we just score? We just, I think we just scored, I missed it. Oh my god, I have. Oh my god, every time I watch a match I, and I do something else, I always miss a goal and that's just happened. I can't believe I just missed a goal. How we are struggling with Kidderminster Harriers, I do not know. No respect to them, but still, not good enough. Declan Rice at it again, you little beauty. <laughs> Go on, get that down, yeah. <laughs> I'm on my way, I'm on my way, I'm on my way. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Wales aren't doing too well. No, Wales have not got started in any way, shape or form, but the West End game has just finished and I tuned in for the last few moments ago and they scored in the very, well, it was like the second to last kick, but West Ham got away with murder in that game. Should be beating Kidderminster, but made a right hash of it. But anyway, come on, you heads! So we've been at the Duke of Wellington throughout the afternoon for some pints, which was a very nice pub. I do recommend it indeed. And I'm hoping that we will visit another few pubs whilst we're here. One in particular, which I want to mention called the Earl of Lonsdale. It is a cracking boozer. Um, yeah, really old school looking boozer. Nice uh, beers as well. But other than that, we're just here for a good old day out. Enjoy ourselves. 
and see where the day and night takes us. All right, first stop, we're gonna go to a record store called Rough Trade, which I'm sure some of you will know. They're based um, in numerous locations around the country because Elle wants to grab potentially a little something for her granddad for his birthday next month. Good old Portobello Market strikes again. So Elle was looking for a present for her granddad and we struck gold, or she struck gold, I should say, really, shouldn't you? And we came across this chap who, oh, there you go. An old vintage jazz album from the 1959 in mint condition that is as well. Uh, but we came across this chap who runs a vinyl record stall. He was just shutting up, but you know, there's another chap just up the road who was still open went to him yeah. he was a very nice chap got chatting to him and all the rest of it I kind of wish I filmed some of what he has because it was I know yeah. he had stacks and stacks so of vinyl much. and he had actually what we wanted the other guy yes. did admit he said I don't have yeah because you, you had a specific you, you had a specific yeah, person you wanted to get didn't yeah. you and the other so, guy yeah. said yeah I've got him but you got it so happy I days him. yeah and I think it's only right. Very go, happy day. And I think it's only right we'll go to a pub and to get them a pint down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna go for another pint. And I mentioned or would have put in the video earlier a little bit about the Earl of Lonsdale. And lo and behold, <laughs> we are about to venture in there right now. Not been in this pub for a long time, but I've took you there before. Yeah. Like, like we said earlier. It's a fantastic boozer. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> Favourite booze is this place, Yellow Lonsdale. Cheers. Ah, good old Taddy's Lager. Elle's got the old Jean T on the go. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah, get it down, you'll be alright. <laughs> Lovely stuff. I've gone for a local beer, Kensington Pale Ale, something like that. Oh, it's called now. I've forgotten. But it's really good stuff. We are here in the mighty Honest Burgers because it is the we best gaff. And it was our we first date. Our first date. Yeah, first date we had back in two in. We went to the Honest Burger over there. That was really good. And uh, yeah, I, I, I've not been here. And it's not in Hill One for. It's gonna be at least seven years. Look forward to taking some decent burgers. Okay, here we go. We're not messing about. L has gone for. Ooh, fresh. <laughs> what have you got for? Mm -hmm. He's gone for a plant uh, burger. I went for plant and bacon last time. Yeah. Ah, oh, uh, the old onion rings are here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, I went for plant and bacon last time, but the plant is my like. L being a pescatarian, technically. And I've gone for the local burger, which has... Oh, shit. Oh, it's got an onion ring in it. Wowza. Uh, it's got chorizo in there as well. It's got padron peppers. If you know what they are, then you know that they are the best. And yeah, without further ado, it's time to tuck in, isn't it? Let's go. Right, here we go. It's got to freeze up into, haven't you? Every time. I can't actually help but eat a chip at the same time. Uh, they just don't disappoint. Simple as that. Okay. I normally eat a burger with a knife and fork as well. So you do, that's because you're very sophisticated. Are you just gonna absolutely like I'll try. Delete it. I'll try. <laughs> Go <Okay>. on, girl. <laughs> Hey. How is it? Good, yeah? Of course it is. Because we're honest burger, it's always good. It's a bit like, you know when it really actually tastes a bit like meat or like, as a veggie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy days. Thumbs up, yeah? yeah. 
All right, so we just left Honest Burger. As always, it was fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Magnifico. It was amazing. <laughs> As it always is, you cannot go wrong with Honest Burgers. Like I say, if you don't know, then get to know. So we're on our way home now after what has been a lovely day in Nottingham, hasn't yeah, it, Elle? Has you know? Yeah, we've been here. Long but, uh, time. Yeah, got about midday. It's now what, eight o'clock or so. Anyway, yeah, we've had a cracking day out here. It's been really good. Been to a nice few pubs, checked out the um uh the the, the Portobello market, the record stores, and obviously you were successful yes. in getting your, your granddad yeah, something for his birthday next month. Which was obviously great stuff and they were great food. At Honest Burger, like I just mentioned a moment ago. It's been a good day, isn't it, Elf? Wow, you want to make sure that vinyl is okay by the time we get back. <laughs> Bloody it's Nora, you are not to be trusted. It's, it's, a, it's a big bag, it's windy. Well, you better keep it, to, you know, keep it close to you, you know what I mean? You hold it. You don't, I'm not to hold it, I'm not responsible for that. <laughs> And that concludes today's video. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as always. And don't forget to check out the rest of my videos. There's plenty more for your entertainment. There's about 20 odd videos now, so you're sport for choice. And until the next one, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you on the next one. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. <laughs>